What's up, everybody? Well, moving day has arrived, finally. After a little over two months in quarantine, these guys are back in the main tank. Seems pretty happy. Um, little ick breakout at the beginning of the winter. So these guys have been in a little 10 gallon quarantine tank. We did lose a couple fish though. I had a small six line wrasse and I had a small bicolor, or actually it was a royal grandma. Those were casualties of ick and quarantine. Um, these guys have made it. It was a little stressful having that many fish in a 10 gallon quarantine tank, but what are you going to do when that's all you have? Um, that's really all you can, all you can deal with. But um, just a little update. My tank seems to be doing well. I'm going to um, I'm going to post this video on my Reef Central forum, and I'm hoping guys will give me a critique of what they think about my tank. If there's anything that they're seeing that I should be aware of or not be aware of, but um, I have been dosing with Nopox from Red Sea. And it has been working really well. I've been battling high nitrates with this tank for just about a year now. You know, we're talking over, not not super high, but we're talking over 30s, 40s parts per million. And no matter how many water changes I did, cut the feeding, did whatever I had, whatever I was doing, it just wasn't it wasn't going down. I was vacuuming the sand. I was doing everything I could think of, and it would go down for a little while, and then it would creep back up. So I started dosing with Red Seas. No pox, and for those of you wondering if it's worth it, it is absolutely worth it. I'm going to do a full product review on this probably in a day or two, but the long and short of it, I've been dosing with it for about two and a half weeks now, and I just did a test yesterday, and my nitrates and phosphates are just about around two, three parts per million, so I'm still dosing. It really works well. My skimmer is skimming like crazy because of the stuff. But like I said, that's for another day. Um, let me know what you think. That My mushroom there, he, he looks happy, but as my name su would suggest, I'm the reef rookie, and I'm just trying to make sure he, he's happy. And my candy cane coral, he looks pretty good. I had him up here where the green star polyps were, and I was thinking that might be a little too high close to the light. I wanted to move him down to see how he was doing, and he seems to be doing pretty well. Again, you pros out there, let me know what you think. And my green star polyps up here at the top, he's benefiting from this power head here, blasting over here, and he, he seems pretty happy. He's out and he's waving around. I'm gonna take him off that frag there and put him on that flat piece of rock so that in the event that he starts to overgrow, I can take that rock out and peel off the mat. But like I said, I'm gonna post this on my forum. Let me know if, what you guys think of this tank. If there's anything I'm missing, if there's anything I'm not, I don't have that I should have, or if there's something you guys see that I need to be made aware of, let me know. Other than that, just a quick tank update. Um, and that'll do it. Thanks for watching. I try and keep my videos, videos short and sweet. So, Thanks again.